So you want to make a drop down in pure HTML and CSS? Confused? Don't worry, I am here to help you. So my name is Ipsik Raj, you are watching Becoder and if you are interested in web development and programming then make sure to subscribe my channel. Let's start after this small intro. So step number one, create a folder where you are going to work. So here I will make my folder. Drop down, open a text editor. I am using Visual Studio Code, so I will open it. And you have to open that folder here. So just open that folder drop down and in this half side I will open my browser so first you have to create an index file index.html and a CSS file go in HTML write exclamation mark and press enter then this much of code will be auto completed for you and Yes, I will go here, link my CSS file also and I will open this in my browser. I will write here a div. I will give it a name of dropdown and in dropdown I will make a section and inside this section I will give a p paragraph and I will write its name dropdown. First of all I will style my page a little bit first in margin I will give margin 0 then I will use a google font to make our text little better so copy this Roboto font. So if you don't know how to use Google font, I have I will provide here a link in i button so you can watch that. I have made a detailed video how to use it. I have explained it in that video. And copy this font family, paste this in now in body, set it height. 100 view height background color so for background color i am using a website canva.com i will provide this link in i will provide that link in description so you can check out that so i have selected two color here for that i am using this one this blue color so for background i am using that blue color and here we will style now i will write here display flex align item center justify content we will style our drop down just copy that drop down and i will give your background color first so this orange one I will set here width of 200 pixel padding 10 pixel and 20 pixel after that I will set color to white then I will use a box shadow to give us shadow outside this drop down 2 pixel pixel 10 pixel so this is basically x x axis y axis and this is the how much shadow will be there hardness of shadow and now finally the color change the border radius so here you can see our drop down is little bit 3d and now i will use an icon 
and the title is from flat icon i will provide the link in description so you can check out there type here drop down and suppose that i want to use this so and this drop down is of black color i mean this arrow is black color and our website uh, we are using white color in our drop down so arrow should also be in white color so in this website you uh, you can edit the images uh, in their website and uh, in this flat icon.com so here you can you get a edit option so click on that and here you can choose color so i will change the color to triple f means white color download its png in any size so i have downloaded that and I will go in my download section so I have copied that image here and after this drop down paragraph tag I will use a image tag and the source will be this first of all I will give a class name of this section that is text and icon because it containing text and icon copy this go in css file right here and inside this class there is an image and image width would be 15 pixel so size is good but it is layout is like vertical but we want it in horizontal so for that once again copy that text icon class and right here display flex and justify content space between so now our drop down is looking better and here i will write cursor pointer so when we will point this then pointer will be changed now we have to make the inside menus of the drop down so for that we have to go in index file and after this section i will make another section and i will give it the class name of drop down menu and inside drop down menu i will use paragraph so and right here a random text select one copy this paragraph and just paste one or two three times so this is basically how the drop down is messed up so we will clear one by one here. so first of all we will style our drop down menu and for that we will write in drop down position relative and in drop down menu we will do position absolute background color will be this orange now i will set the width of 140 pixel exactly that we have given to the drop down so here i have used 130 so here i will write 130 pixel and the same padding we will use here and i will write left zero and top 30 pixels or 35 pixels border radius 10 pixels now i will use same box shadow so copy that box shadow and paste here so this is how our drop down is looking now and copy the drop down menu and inside drop down menu we have used paragraph so this paragraph select one i will write select two 
select 3 select 4 so we are targeting this now and i will write here margin of 5 pixel and 0 pixel so this margin is from top and bottom and this is from left to right so now you can see the margin is increased and now when we hover this so when we hover this p in drop down menu then we changing it color or something so for that i will use background color to white and and color will be orange let's see so here you can see but little i have to use some padding here in paragraph so i will write here padding 5 pixel and 10 pixels let's check and one more thing i will write here border radius of 5 pixels so now it is looking better and now what we have to do main thing to hide this and when we hover on this drop down it should be shown so for that we have to come in drop down menu means this section drop down menu and we will write here display none simple so it is hidden and but when we hover this drop down it is not showing up so for this one we will go in the main drop down section so for that we, we know we have given it as drop down name so when we hover drop down then the drop down menu so this is basically i am writing a code here in this way you can make your drop down so i am writing when i will hover my drop down this drop down then inside that there is a class drop down menu that is hidden now and i will write now here display block so when i hover this then the drop down menu is visible and when i then again it is hidden so this is how you can make a custom drop down in html and css so if you enjoyed this video then please make sure to like it and subscribe my channel and see you in next video with an another topic